Hey guys, Hayden. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an overview of an SCX24 that I just completed. And I think y'all are going to enjoy it. It's pretty dope. And I hope y'all enjoy. Subscribe and like. You already know what it is. Alright guys, we're in the studio. My bedroom, literally. This is... I'm going to call it Purple People Eater. This is a C10. Built from scratch. And... Has a little bit of flex, not too much. <laughs> Just kidding. And we're gonna do an overview of the parts list and let's see what's inside of it. It's basically stock. All right, first of all guys, we're gonna do an overview of the body. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna pick it up. Um, I'm gonna put the paint list in the description, but I basically did some Tamiya paints. Stock grill from the C10 where it comes with the body. Stock bull bar at the back. I don't know what that's for. It's aesthetics. I've got it mounted on magnets for the Mios chassis. And I think the paint turned out pretty good. I'll put all the paints in the description. But one thing that I would suggest y'all do if you don't like real glossy. Is if y'all have some Tamiya clear coat. The spray paint. Um, spray the outside of your body after you painted your truck. And it'll eliminate a lot of the gloss. I know it seems like it has a lot but... It's toned down so much. Um, but yeah, I used a bit of purple and blue. It's not the best paint job, but it turned out really nice. Windows and everything. So we're going to get onto the chassis and the tires and wheels. And I will see you on the next clip. Alright guys, um, this is the C10 chassis. I got the Mios chassis from Amazon.com, obviously. I have some Enjora shocks in there. They're blue 43s. They're the telescoping. Got some Enjora rear links. Oh, wait, no. These are the Mios rear links. Um, I got some Enjora axles. Mofo Super Island tires. I mean, wheels. I got the SCX24 axial rock lizards. They are foams in the back. No foams in the front. If you know, you know. Um, basically, I have the Mofo axle wideners. To add some weight. Uh, this is the Mios chassis. As I said. It comes with magnets in the front and the back. And these rock sliders are pretty nice. The battery kind of messed up right now. I don't know where to put it. V2 electronics. Which is kind of nice. Um, I didn't want to really go brushless with this build. Just because of some class issues. With my, one of my friends. He doesn't have a single brushless. So we can run it together. It's actually Tristan. So it will be fair on him if I run a brush. And he runs a brush. But um. Uh, we're gonna do a few comps. He just got a brand new build. Go check out his video at Scale RC on YouTube. I'll link that in the description as well. I'm running a Mofo Torque Beast 3.0 on a Enjora transmission metal with a, just a regular like a random carbon fiber Amazon special uh, motor plate. Don't know, it looked cool. And then another Amazon special blue case to match my skid plate. Another Amazon special. I don't know. And then front links. I actually switched them up because the, the Mios says it comes with C10s, but it comes with deadbolts. They're a bit shorter, so I got C10s. I've got the both C10 drive shafts. These are kind of long, but I really like how it turned out. Um, as a front axle, I've got servo. I've got Emacs and just a stock Emacs metal servo horn. Nothing too special, but as you can see, this thing has a bit of flex. Not too much, but it's pretty nice. I literally just completed it right before filming this, so I haven't played with it outside or anything. I've driven it around by bedroom, but it's nothing good. But I've got the magnets and I'm mounted up. I know that it looks a bit wonky like that, but it looks like a spider. But it doesn't hit whatsoever. Like, it will not hit the body when it flexes. It'll turn and it'll hit, but... I'll work out those issues later on. Right now, I like the way it sits. I know it looks super wide and ugly. But I think for the length, it looks decent. And it'll work decent. I'm not really caring about looks besides the paint and the wheels. So, I think that's going to be the end of the video, honestly. It's a short video, but there's nothing more I can say about it. Go check out Tristan's channel. He does a whole bunch of rock calling clips. He is scale RC once again. I'll put that in the description, but hope y'all enjoyed the video. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.